Hurry up, Mom. They're going to jump in half an hour. I just have to get my jacket on, Billy. Look, I promised Roger we're going to watch it. We're going to make it. Roger knows that I can't stay, doesn't he? You know, this farm option in Gore Bay is the sale of a lifetime. I just can't afford to miss any of those antiques. It's going to be a fantastic free fall. You can't afford to miss that either. We'll see. You know, sometimes I'm sorry that Roger started you on skydiving. <laughs> Look, it's as easy as falling out of an airplane. <laughs> They jump at 7,500 feet. They're almost there. Who's jumping with Roger? Jack Sheldon, Canadian style champion. Oh, that sounds impressive. This is the final sequence to Roger's film. Something's wrong. Sheldon opened his chute too soon. He hardly went into free fall. Come on, Mom. Let's find out what happened. Billy, if I don't get to Gore Bay soon, I'll never get the furniture I want. Tell Roger I'm sorry. I couldn't stay. And I'll pick you up at 5 o'clock, okay? okay? See you then. Good luck. Opens his chute the minute he cleared the plane. Well, did you get any footage? Maybe five feet. What are you going to do? Go up again. I have to get that footage today. But that run put me behind schedule. Roger, the darndest thing, my altimeter went haywire. Your altimeter? Yeah. I had to open. Better repack. I got a spare instrument you can use. Look, Roger, I'm sorry. No matter. We'll get it next time. Yeah. Your cape ball release was undone. That's smart thinking, kid. What happened? Why did he open so soon? I don't know. Can we have another run? I'll have to refuel. How long? A couple of hours. Maybe less. Ah. Uh, okay. Meet you here at noon. Right. Billy? Are you coming with me? Thanks, but I want to talk to Roger. Okay. What about? He was shaking all over, Roger. And that story about his altimeter. I know. He could have used his stopwatch. What's the matter? Is he losing his nerve? 
Maybe. Champion diver like Jack Sheldon? It happens. The symptoms are there. Release the apex. Roger. Line up an inner jumper as a backup, just in case. Roger. No, Billy. I need a more experienced man. Kid's a jumper, eh? Well, Billy's had uh, 80 jumps. Two more and he gets his B license. Remember how you felt when you first started? Yeah, I remember. Roger, look at... Meet you in the restaurant in a couple of minutes. Hello, operator. I want to place a person-to-person -person call to Sudbury to Mr. Ray Harvey, 673-5213. Hi, Billy. Oh, hi, Phyllis. I hear Roger the skydive filming this morning. How'd it go? Oh, um, not so good. I hear you're very good. Do you have any pie? Neely just baked some a little while ago. Still hot. Great. I'll have some of that. And a glass of milk. Roger will be in soon. Get him a cup of coffee. I really need you for this job. I've got to get that footage today. I've got Jack Sheldon. But something's wrong. Can't you put it off, Ray? I see. Sure, I understand. Okay. I'll see you, Ray. Can anybody else do it? Not on this short notice. I guess it'll have to be Jack. Can't Billy do it for you, Roger? <laughs> What's going on? A conspiracy? I didn't ask her to say that. Tell us your suggestion would be most welcome if there were no other possibility. But aren't you stuck? No, I'm not stuck. Yet. Come on. Coming, Jack? Yeah, sure, I'll be right there.
I wish I could go out to the field and watch the jump. Why don't you? Noon hour's too busy. Now, maybe if Billy were jumping. <laughs> We're all set. Something wrong? I don't know. Is there? No, why, why should there be? What are you looking at? What's wrong? What are you looking at me like that for? I'm sorry, Jack. It's hit you, hasn't it? What's hit me? You've lost your nerve. You're afraid to jump. Oh, come on, Roger. You got it all wrong. I'm okay. Look, Jack, there's nothing to be ashamed of. It can happen to any one of us, any time. I need the money. Not that badly. Jack, we both know that you can't make the jump. You couldn't this morning, and you can't now. Poor guy. Roger, are you stuck now? Stuck. I got a spare jumpsuit. You can use Sheldon's gear. Great! Come on. is great. Remember, Billy, nothing fancy. Don't forget to keep an eye on your altimeter. Open your chute at 3,000 feet. Don't worry. Sheldon's altimeter works fine. Did you check your equipment? Yeah, it's all okay. Let's go. And let's make it a good one. Something's happening to me. I don't know what it is. There's always something left, Jack. No, if I can't jump, what's my life going to be? I guess I let Roger down pretty badly. They have a replacement for you. Yeah, I know. Ray Harvey from Sudbury. No, fellas tells me they have Billy jumping for you. A kid? No, it's funny what a man will do sometimes. Unbelievable. Try to explain it. I, I bent the pins on my chutes. I, I was afraid to tell Roger I didn't want to make that jump. What do you mean you bent the pins on your chute? Just one of those crazy things. I, I fixed the chutes so they won't open. I figured if I showed them to Roger, I wouldn't have to make that jump. But Mr. Sheldon, Billy's using your chute. Where can we find a radio around here? Tugboat. 1600! 
squadron. It won't be long now. Seventy three hundred. Stand by. Both on the same shoot. They're coming down in the channel. Sheldon? Only by reputation. Who's jumping with Roger? That's your son, Mrs. Williams. Boy's a natural. Where did he get the equipment? Well, it used to be mine. 
It's his now. Great boots, Roger. You deserve them, Billy. That was a fine jump you made for me. Thanks. Roger, I really do appreciate your giving Billy the boots. But I'm terribly worried about him skydiving, particularly after today. Oh, Mom, nothing really happened. Nothing? You call jumping with chutes that won't open nothing? If Billy had really checked the chutes, as he said he had, nothing would have happened. You can't take anything for granted when you're jumping. Remember that for next time. If there ever is a next time. I don't understand how you could do another jump today. Oh, I had to. Or else I'd lose my nerve like Jack Sheldon. I almost wish you had. Now, Nancy, be fair. That has to be Billy's decision. If he wants to continue, fine. If not, it's good too. But he has to make the decision. Well, Billy. Mom, huh? want to do me a favor? <laughs> if I can. See if these fit you. <laughs> like Cinderella. <laughs> sort of. You know, maybe if Mom started skydiving, she wouldn't worry about me. <laughs> That's some idea. Hey, but you know what had happened? What? My parachute would turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> 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 